गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन आई एम संजत मेहता अ फाइनल ईयर एम बी बी एस स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम बी जे मेडिकल कॉलेज अहमदाबाद एंड माई प्रोजेक्ट इज ऑन एसोसिएशन बिटवीन विटामिन डी डेफिशेंसी एंड टाइप टू डायबिटीज मिलाइटिस सो वी ऑल नो दैट विटामिन डी डेफिशेंसी इज हाईली प्रेवलेंट इन इंडिया एज वेल एज ग्लोबली वी नो दैट विटामिन डी रेगुलेट्स लॉट ऑफ मेकेनिजम्स एंड मेटाबॉलिजम्स इन अवर बॉडी इंक्लूडिंग कैल्शियम होमियोस्टाइसिस न्यूरोमास्कुलर फंक्शन एंड वेरियस जेनेटिक सिग्नलिंग्स एज वेल वी आर ऑल्सो अवेयर दैट गुजरात इज द डायबिटीज कैपिटल ऑफ इंडिया एंड इंडिया इफ नॉट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट बट इफ नॉट द मोस्ट बट इट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट हाईली डायबिटीज इन डायबिटीज इज हाईली प्रेवलेंट इन इंडिया एंड बट देर आर फ्यू स्टडीज विच डेमोस्ट्रेट दैट a uh, vitamin d deficiency may be linked to insulin metabolism and insulin regulation but there is no conclusive evidence which dictates the same so our research is on, follows the same path and we find uh, we uh, try to investigate this association further so our objective is to basically find the association between type 2 diabetes uh, factors and uh, vitamin d deficiency including the age and gender differences the glycemic control the fasting blood glucose control and a uh, various uh, micro macro and acute complications of diabetes with uh, vitamin d deficiency also uh, we conducted a two month cross sectional study on 100 type 2 diabetes patients uh, aged 18 to 80 years of age at civil hospital ahmedabad uh patients with metabolic comorbidities pregnancy infections and obviously on multivitamin supplements or vitamin d supplements were excluded from our study uh their bio data and progression details were included and serum vitamin d levels were uh, calculated in the biochemistry lab uh we found some really good results uh, our mean age uh, in our participant population was uh, was 52 years Uh, females were predominant in our study with 60 or uh, 56%. Uh, mean vitamin D levels in our study were 21.682 ng per ml, which were in the deficient cat uh, deficient category. Uh, vitamin. Uh, so, yeah. So we conducted a chi-square test to uh, find out uh, whether the associations are significant or not on JASP software. So we found that. vitamin d deficiency was uh, significantly associated with increased glycemic uh, control uh, uh, with reduced glycemic control which meant that uh, uh, the uh, vitamin d deficiency was more prevalent in people having hb1c more than 6.5% it was also significantly associated with increased uh, with increased fasting blood glucose with p uh, less than 0.01 we also found that increased disease duration of type 2 diabetes uh, was associated with decreased vitamin d levels or vitamin d deficiency we uh, also found that patients who had diabetes for more than 5 years had uh, majority of them had vitamin d deficiency while both deficient and sufficient levels were seen in those uh, who had diabetes for less than 5 years of age uh, we also found a significant association between increased number of microvascular complications in diabetic patients who had vitamin d deficiency whereas no significant results were found uh, in acute and macrovascular complications uh, there was also no significant association between vitamin d deficiency and gender or age groups in uh, type 2 diabetic patients Uh, so as far as discussions is concerned our study was um, our study found a significant link of vitamin d deficiency in type 2 diabetes which was cons consistent with shoeb et al and immaculata et al uh, we also found a significant association with a uh, glycemic control which was also aligning with other studies now uh, we uh, found a significant link with fasting blood glucose which was ma matching with bella et al but differentiating with uh, elkabeth et al uh elkabeth et al uh, actually had a very interesting finding uh, their study said that uh, fasting blood uh, vitamin d deficiency only regulates the post prenatal insulin secretion whereas uh, uh, fasting blood glucose uh, helps us determine the 
basal insulin secretion while uh, hba1c determines both insulin uh, both uh, basal and postprenatal insulin secretion so that's the reason he gave for why fasting blood glucose was not associated with vitamin d deficiency in their study uh, and again uh, no significant association was found with age or gender and very few comparative studies were available uh, in this category so we need uh, further research in this stratified data uh, again a significant association was, was found between longer type 2 diabetes duration and higher vitamin d deficiency which was again contrasting with eladarius et al but that could be due to various reasons like difference in study population difference in study type or study control and um, other factors like socio demographic factors etc now we did find significant links with uh, microvascular complications like retinopathy, nephropathy, and neuropathy, which was consistent with a lot of other studies uh, worldwide. We didn't find any significant association with microvascular complications and acute complications like diabetic ketoacidosis, which was surprising because uh, a lot of other studies worldwide were uh, finding this association significant, but that could be again due to various reasons like diabetic progression, diabetes in different patients, and uh, other socio-demographic factors as well. So to conclude, vitamin D deficiency does play a significant role in type 2 diabetes and its progression into the complications, especially the microvascular complications. Variation there, but we did see that there were a lot of variations in our uh, uh, in our study. So vitamin D, ro uh, there's there are a lot of variations in role of uh, vitamin D's role in glucose metabolism across different aspects which indicate a need for further research on supplementation and its uh, effect on the diabetic outcomes. Uh, thank you.